Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bad Blood, our main event here tonight. For the winner, he is the best person in the Smart Wrestling Fan Wrestling Review Show. Stop being nothing. Yes, it's a fatal four way to decide who is the best person in the Smart Wrestling Fan Wrestling Review Show. Obviously, a very official result here. We see the blood introducing Joe Negron, walking kind of strangely. But he, he sure is getting to the ring eventually, and he's got the Christian video. That's pretty cool. I like Christian. And then Joe humping the ring. Well, that ring sure is attractive, so, you know, as you do. And then with the edge bouncing. That's wonderful. We move on, and it's our next competitor, Larry Swee. Knee. Couldn't fit. Wouldn't fit. The fit. Something. Rene Dupree, and then background, and then he... Swee looking pretty cool there. It's got the leopard skin leather shorts and he's got the painted on purple one-armed yokel no that's not true and he's got the fully gangster gold chain and he, he's he, no one can see him at all what what oh it's oh it's wiggly who, who is apparently a black man but it must be him he's got the hat and he's and he, he exists and he, he's skinny and he could probably do some flips one would think that's wiggly it seems like something he would do and then he's going to go and look at the crowd. That's wonderful. And our final match person, it's, um, it's, it's Dishman Me. Okay? Uh, the mysterious Dishman, who could never be seen, apart from the album art of a few episodes ago. But, um, he, he's wearing the bull head, and he's, he's, he's a cowboy. And he's going to, he's going to be the hurricane. That is your chest. That is your arm. And he's putting the elbow to the crowd. Don't look at that. That doesn't exist. This is a real match, ladies and gentlemen. This does happening. Is the... And we're going to start the match with a 10-minute time limit, because that's not something. So, uh, oh, back body drops ahoy. We start off the match with Wiggly and Dishman fighting an hours along, along with Sweeney and Joe. The old rival, Sweeney and Joe. Very nice drop kick. Oh, he kicked him with the drop. Oh, his feet straight into his face went Wiggly. Oh, oh no, and he hit him with another move. What a maneuver. Oh, what a maneuver. Now, Joe, with the going, what the hell was that? What the hell happened to his animation? He's... he's going for a Boston Crab, but he's flipped, so he's going for one up leg. That didn't look right. He goes for it again. That time it worked. Will Sweeney tap out? No, he won't. We can just been outside the ring, annoyingly, because they won't get back in, probably. Which is frustrating. So Joe's going to run into the ropes, and... Oh, he, he tries to kick some air. That's, that's not particularly intelligent of him. So now Sweeney's going to grapple, and he's going to... Oh, no! S Joe stomps on his face or something. I don't know what he did there. Back outside the ring now, and Dishman thrown to the floor by Wiggly. And now the abdominal stretch by Sweeney. Can Joe get to the ropes or just get the green meter working? And Sweeney apparently lets go for some reason. Oh, very nice bulldog there by Sweeney. By very nice, I mean existent. So now outside the ring, oh, Dishman with the elbow to the face. And then Wiggly fighting back with some kicks and such. And then, oh, a clothesline by... Band. Joe did something inside the ring. Inside the ring, I didn't see it. Throwing in the turnbuckle, face first. What's he gonna do? Oh no, Sweeney's gonna. Oh, he's gonna put him up the top there. No way, he's not gonna go for that. Oh my God, what a maneuver! Oh, he hit him in the back. Oh, his back hit the floor and let the bodies hit the floor. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> So now Dishman and Wiggly still fighting inside the ring, and there we go, and yeah, I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Scoop slam by Wiggly. And, oh, thankfully Joe and, Wiggly, Joe and Sweeney still, no, don't get out of the ring, oh god, they're never going to get back in the ring, this is horrible. So they're still outside the ring, nothing's going to happen for the next few minutes, I'm presuming. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to take a quick commercial break, when we come back, we'll come back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the high-flying, interesting, very interesting action that can only be seen on the YouTubes. Dishman getting the upper hand of Wiggly, it would seem, by going by some fire down by his name, and Joe Negron beating up Sweeney. It seems like he's doing well, which is good because Sweeney is... Well, he's Larry Sweeney, and Joe is Joe. It really does tell you a lot about them by saying their names, doesn't it? Only 4 minutes 35 left in this match, so hopefully it will just... It's probably going to end in a four-way draw. 
But but Dishban could go for a finisher here if he's smart enough, which he isn't because this game AI is horrible. Two arm bars in process right there. Very arm barish. Move number one. Arm bar. Move number two. I forget what the move number two was in Jericho's list. So we are coming down to just four minutes, but these idiots won't get out of into the ring because they're idiots. And this game's stupid. I bet with like five seconds left, they'll run in and be like, oh crap, what are they going to do? And then they'll just lose. What an interesting match this is going to turn out to be. Just been going to work on Wiggly's stomach with face punches to the face. That makes sense. Wiggly very weak, it looks like, by going by his blue bar and the fire. Wouldn't you not want fire? One would think. And then Dishband, oh, oh, a scoop slam onto the concrete. What a manoeuvre. Oh my god, what a manoeuvre. Now Sweeney, will with a punch to the face. That's not very nice of him. Why would you do that? I'm pretty sure Joe just wants to be friends with you, Sweeney. But no, you've got to go and give him an atomic drop. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to knee you in the ass. That's very nice of me. Ha ha ha. What a douche. Those steps have been moved, by the way. Someone obviously was thrown into the steel steps. How very uninteresting. So we're still going here. Yeah, uh, very exciting match. This just, just turns out to me. I'm tired. I'm always tired. That's just me. Me. It's, and me being Dishman, of course. I think is Sweeney coming back? I think Sweeney. Yeah, Sweeney's coming back. Bother. But Joe got a heat boost. Oh, a heat hard camera swerve angle gimmick. Some shoulder blocks there. That's that's fantastic. Well done, Sweeney. Should be proud of yourself. Two minutes twenty-five left in this ball game. Not really a ball game, is it? And it's not a squared circle. It's just a square. No circles. No circles. Something. The secret. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're coming up to two minutes left in this match, which has very been exciting. The very been exciting. So far, but I mean, I, anyone who argues with me just is just plain wrong. I mean, if you can't say that this is the most exciting match you've ever seen on YouTube involving these four competitors, you're a liar, because you've never seen a match involving these four competitors on the YouTubes or ever. Seeing as I've never been in a wrestling match before, I presume Joe hasn't, apart from the whole Sweeney vs. Joe thing we had last time with Velocity. But they've moved up to Bad Blood, one of the best pay-per-views of the year, really. I mean, that Bad Blood. Everyone looks forward to that. I mean, everyone I know just saves up their money. Oh, I don't want to buy WrestleMania. I want to get bad blood. Remember that time that Eric Bischoff and Stone Cold had those contests? And then Eric Bischoff got the Bronco Buster from, like, Mae Young or something? Wasn't that entertaining? No, it wasn't. <laughs> that's not entertaining. If that's entertainment, you, you sir, are not entertainment recognizing. Less than a minute left in this match. Yes, rambling on is successful. Now... Um, who's that? Wiggly, Wiggly's head is red. <laughs> he must have been sunburnt. Um, but he's not going to quit, obviously. And it looks like at this rate, this match is just going to go to a time limit draw. Which is frustrating. Because I don't want that. Oh, God damn, you idiots. Get back in the ring. Stop saying out of the ring and doing horrible submission moves. For frick's sake, what is wrong with your AI? Why are you so stupid that you just stay in there? Hey, I'm going to go outside the ring and do an armbar. Huh, I'm going to get him again. Oh, no, I'm going to pick him up. Oh, oh, I'm going to grab him. Oh, and I'm closing on him. And now I'm going to do another armbar. Am I? Oh, no. Now I'm going to grab his... Oh, it's the thing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Idiots. Draw. A draw. Ugh. 